Morning, yes. <laughs> uh, welcome to AIX Summit, live from downtown San Jose. And uh, we're very pleased all of you are here and on, online. Hello to everyone who is online, anywhere on the internet. Uh, hello from downtown and sunny California. Um, I'm very pleased to, to present AI Summit today, AIX Summit today, with our partners, NVIDIA. So uh, I wanted to just get this morning, get uh, candid about what it means to deploy, build, and get value from an agentic workforce. Everyone's been talking about it, but we want to talk about what, what gets real. So first to start, how many of you have been building, piloting agents? There we go, everyone. Uh, and second, how many have been thinking about the enterprise agentic strategy? Most of you, that's great. Uh, what is interesting is I'm going to make a bold statement that most of you have a plan to start, but not a plan to finish. And how do I get to say that uh, without knowing your plans? The last year, I've been spending a lot of time with probably 100 CIOs and uh, practitioners talking about what it means to do AI. The current state of the art is really deploying Copilot or a managed uh, RAG chatbot. And that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about agents that do real work that are integrated into the fabric of the enterprise. And they have a set of characteristics I want to go over. First, they're multimodal. They're able to ingest, process, and analyze all the data in the enterprise, not just tables and text that we do today. And so really, it's about looking at documents, video, audio, images, uh, like your customer service logs or your invoices. Make sure you have everything. Second, they have deep reasoning. They really have the cognitive horsepower to call on tools to make a plan and to go, uh, seek, a, seek a goal and create outcomes. And finally, they're autonomous, which means they are really working towards making decisions and create, getting tasks done. But most important, they're able to solve this with, without continual human intervention. And this is important because most business workflows have a lot of unpredictable outcomes, exceptions. And so being able to manage that is a critical part of what, what agents will do. Now, imagine you built this one agent. It's already pretty hard. Each one of these things represents a lot of work on, on, on part of the company to get it up and running. But this is not just software. So you have to think about an agent as part of your digital workforce as a colleague. And so what you're doing next is really thinking about what happens uh, to, to an agent as it comes in. So first job you have to do is to figure out, is the agent appropriate for the role that you're going to put in? So I'm going to use the analogy of a human person. So we interview a human, a human being, and we say, look, is this candidate good for the job role? And of course, we look at their ex experience, we look at their skills, but we also look at how much comp they want. What, are they a good fit for the company? So it's not just a simple thing of, let's say, accuracy, but it's also all the rest of the concerns that you have when you hire an employee. Similarly, for an agent, you want to think about, you know, are they right from an accuracy perspective? Are they right from a cost perspective? Are they right from a latency perspective? Bringing all of that together is actually a hard task. So making sure that you have the right components and the right uh, technology to really solve for your needs is super important. Second, I'm going to use the analogy some more. You have to onboard the employee. It's not enough to just interview and say, like, I got this great hire. You got to onboard the person to all the tools and all the data that you have. You have your data, your plans, your analysis, your decisions to really onboard them onto a project so the employee can do good work. Similarly, with an agent, you want to think about how do you get them access to all of your enterprise data, all of the enterprise systems, how you do it securely. And that is an important part of what you want to think about in an agent and the runtime for that. Then you set the person on, on their job. And now they're starting to collaborate with others in the enterprise. They're doing real work, and they're collaborating with their teams. For an agent, that means, how are they going to find other agents? Where, where do they find these agents? How do they identify themselves? Do they have the right permissions? Can they have the right transactions uh, with these other agents and tools? How are you going to think through that? Then you think about, wait, I've done the job for a while. What is the most interesting work that we do from HR as a human employee? We get supervised. We have someone come and look at us and say, hey, look, you did this job well. You didn't do this well. You need to get training. You need to upscale. 
And so similarly, as you learn more about the job, you, learn, you can do more complex things. Similarly for an agent, you have to th think about what's gonna happen as they grow up, as they work in the, en in the enterprise. So think things like, what happens when there's a new model that has more capability? What happens when there's security vulnerability that you need to fix? How do you sort of move through that entire exercise as an agent? And then you also have to think about retiring these agents when their job is done, when, the, the, when that job no longer requires. Just like when we offboard an employee, we think about what happens to their G drive, their SharePoint, how do you archive them? What about their emails? Does it get forwarded to someone else? What have they done? We have to think about how do you safely offboard a agent and deprecate an agent because you have to think about what are the decisions they took? What are the actions they took? Where is all that data? We have to govern all of that. So really thinking through all of this is what you need to think about an agent to actually get a workforce. Now, that is all awesome, sounds pretty intimidating, but that's just one agent. Now, if you're an agent workforce, you're thinking about hundreds, thousands of agents working in your, in your company, working with your, with your employees and working together. And so you have, you have some really good, big needs for a platform, and that brings me to my next enterprise AI stack. And so to do that, you really need two big things. One is an agent-ready enterprise infrastructure. As you know, when we talked about the needs of an agent, it did not look like an enterprise app or a business application, SaaS application, did not look like a mobile app, did not look like a web app. It was something different. And so we got to have an enterprise stack that is fully designed, ground up, for this uh, agentic era and making sure it has the compute, the networking, the storage, uh, the optimization. And then on top of that, you need to think about your life cycle. How are you gonna think through the entire life cycle of the agent as we go through the different phases? So it's not just, hey, look, I piloted it, I understood how good it is, that's my first pilot phase, but also through the rest of it. So you need to think about the full agentic uh, life cycle that is integrated inside your enterprise. So today, we'll have a quick morning and we'll sort of cover three big things. One is, what are the must-haves in your enterprise AI stack? It is a, it's gonna be quite different, as I asserted, and we're gonna have uh, people come up and talk about that in terms of what, what it is we're gonna do. Then we're gonna talk about the roadblocks and actually implementing the whole life cycle. The issues with data, the issues with uh, uh, sort of evaluation, the issues with uh, management over time. And finally, we're gonna to talk to your peers about what it means to actually deliver the strategy. Make a strategy and deliver a strategy. We'll take a look at different perspectives uh, from, from the industry.